What's going on guys? My name Hey! Hey there, Manny! I know you, you're Mr. Oil Filter. What are you, what are you saying, man? You good? Yeah, I'm Mr. Oil Filter. I'm doing amazing. Why do you look so different? Oh, I just got a haircut actually. Now hold on. You actually look a little dirty. Whoa, dirty. I'm a clean whoa, wait. My eyes do not tell lies. You are in fact dirty. Very dirty. No, Manny, you're wrong. I'm not dirty. You're just tripping. You know what happens to dirty filters? No. You're about to find out. What are you gonna do to me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down. Yo, Manny, chill, man. You need to shut up, all right? You're fake. You're not real. I don't see you. I don't believe in you. And that's what happens to people who lie. I never lie. I'm an honest filter. Whoa, oh, Manny. I don't go in here, man. I don't belong in here. It's getting tight. Oh, please, Manny. I have a family. Please. Mama, what's happening to daddy? Look away, honey. You don't want to see this. Oh, you got a family? No, Manny, don't. I'm Mama, I'm scared. Don't Stop it. Don't touch me or my daughter. Mommy, we have to save daddy. We can't, honey. We're just oil filters. It's okay, sweetie. Daddy's going to be all right. Oh, fuck. Oh, chill. Chill. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, Manny, I'll subscribe to your YouTube channel. You know what? What am I doing? You're right. I can't do this. Phew. I knew it, Manny. I knew you are a good person. Nah, I could do it. Well, let's just talk. Let's just talk. Oh, I forgot one thing. That's better. So I know that intro took a little bit of time, but now we can get straight into the content, which is we're gonna learn about oil filters. So it's good to know why we need oil filters, and the name also tells you what they do. They filter oil engines. If you don't know, they do need oil to stay lubricated because there's a lot of moving parts and heat gets generated, friction, all that stuff. So oil is very important, but clean oil is especially important. That's why we need oil filters that come in handy and they do the job of filtering out the oil before it reaches your engine. So really there's two types of oil filters that I'm gonna explain, and that's cartridge filters which are a little bit easier to explain because the housing can be taken apart and you can see everything on the inside. And then there are these spin-on filters, which you know, you just thread it in, spin it on, tighten, but everything's in the inside of this. It's a metal housing, so really the only way to get everything out is yeah. So here's what I did. I took the filter, I cut it open, I took out the individual parts on the inside, laid it out, and so this way I can explain how this filter works and how it's all put together. So the first part is this mounting plate or base plate, whatever you want to call it, but it's this part right here. And on this, you can see that there's this black gasket or this, you can call it an O-ring. When you spin this on and you tighten your oil filter, this makes sure that there is a tight seal and that there's no leaks after you tighten this filter. But the way you want to install it is you want to make sure it's not dry. Basically, what you want is to have a thin layer of oil on this. Sometimes these come already lubricated. You don't ever want to install this dry, but you want to put a thin layer of oil and then install this. Then what you got is this rubber diaphragm that actually you could see in this one, it's orange. So it's right there. What this does is this just sits, like let's say right here, it sits just like that. If you can see that. And what it does is it prevents oil from escaping the filter after your car is turned off. Because what you want is immediate lubrication after you start your car, right? The oil is all in your oil pan. You want to get that immediate lubrication. This allows oil to stay in to stay in the filter so that when you start your car, you kind of have that ready to go oil already there. And this is where all the filtering takes place. Then you got the oil filter paper, right? This is like a porous paper or very closely packed paper. Well, honestly, you can't really see the pores because it's so small. This is able to basically filter out any particles, but small, very, very tiny microscopic particles actually pass through this filter, but they're not gonna do any damage to your engine because they're so, so small and so microscopic. This is where everything gets trapped. Now I wanna compare a dirty one. This is what a dirty one looks like. So for all the people out there that are just holding off on that oil change, just know that this is what you're dealing with. And your filter is really going to lack that filtering ability if you don't change your oil filters. And actually inside of these oil filter papers, you have this, it's like a cage, like a metal ring inside of it. And what it is, I can actually take this one out, as you can see that. 
It's basically a like a metal cylinder with all these little holes in it. All this does is when you start your car, your oil filter is under pressure, right? Because there's oil pressure running through it. This basically keeps this intact, make sure it doesn't collapse while it's working under all that oil pressure. So that's why they have these little holes. So you know, after the oil goes through this, goes through those little holes, then it'll exit out from this hole right here and then it'll enter your engine. Then what you got is this uh, relief spring at the bottom and it's attached to what's called a bypass valve. And basically if this is your filter, it'll sit like this. And you know, this is the, the housing and it'll sit inside the housing just like that. And what it does is if your filter gets clogged, right? Let's say it gets really dirty like this one, right? It gets to the point where it can't even filter anymore. This sits inside. When it gets really, really dirty, the pressure inside the housing actually increases. It increases to the point where this spring, if you can see it, this spring pushes up. When it pushes up, you see how it opens a passage. That passage is right in the middle of this. So when it opens that passage, boom, now the oil does not have to go through this. It can go underneath, out through that passage, and out through the filter. But here's the idea, is this way, you're not filtering your oil, but at the end of the day, having dirty oil filter your engine is better than having no oil filter your engine. So at least this way, you're still getting you know, lubrication for your engine until you go get that oil change done. Now, some oil filters don't have this bypass valve, but some engines are already made with a bypass built inside. So yeah, that way, you know, if it gets clogged, it can go through the engine's bypass and still lubricate your engine. So oil actually enters your engine through these smaller holes around the outside of this big hole. It goes through the filtering paper on the inside, and then it'll exit out the filter through this bigger hole in the middle. And that's what makes up this spin-on filter. So now we're gonna talk about cartridge filters. As you can see in this video right here, I'm using an oil filter cap wrench to take off the housing for the cartridge filter. And when you take the oil filter housing off of this, you'll realize that the inside is basically identical to the spin-on filters. This one, you can see the paper media and all you have to do is replace that. So on these oil filter housings, you might find an oil ring, you usually will. And I take a pick here just to get it off. And I clean up the whole housing with brake cleaner just so there's no dirty oil. And even with this cartridge filter housing, you find that metal cylinder with the holes through it that we saw before in the spin-on filters. And it does the same job of making sure the paper does not collapse under oil pressure. And I do end up replacing this oil ring. You usually will get them in the oil filter pack. What I do here is I get a little bit of oil and I just make sure I lubricate the oil ring before I go and install it onto the oil filter housing because remember, you don't want to install these dry. And uh, you want to do this. You want to replace this oil ring every time you're doing an oil change because it does the same job as that oil gas gasket that's on the spin-on filter. It just ensures that when you do tighten this on properly, that there's going to be no leaks. Here's a comparison of the old filter with the new one. You can see how dirty the old one was. And the new filter will just snap into place. And then I just use that cap wrench with a ratchet and extension, and I just tighten this up. But you don't want to go crazy again. You just want to make sure it's snug so that's not going to leak. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I hope you did learn something about oil filters. And do not be that person that goes out and buys just their oil when they're doing their oil changes. And if you want to share this to a family or friend, maybe someone that doesn't know a lot about oil filters, please go ahead and do that. It does help me out as well. Leave a like, subscribe, and do not be a dirty oil filter. Otherwise, I'm going to have to come look for you. Nah, I'm just joking.